Hey folks, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. So um want to do a little video here of uh, our system charging our Volt. So charging the uh, electric car off, uh, that's actually charging it off the grid. Uh, so we're, you know, our system is, um, it's connected to the grid, but only in the sense that it, that the, our inverter charger uh, draws grid power to charge the batteries a little bit when we need to. Um, but other than that, it's not, it doesn't, send power back into the grid. All the uh, energy from the solar panels goes to the batteries. And therefore, uh, when I show you this video here of the, our system charging our Chevy Volt, um, it'll be all from the batteries. Um, and of course, right now it's daylight, so uh, part of the energy will be coming from the sun, um, kind of bypassing the batteries, if, if that makes sense. But at any rate, it's all coming from the sun and batteries, uh, nothing from the grid. So, um, yeah, so I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook it up here. It's, it's not hooked up now. Uh, it's not charging. I just uh, drove it out for lunch and came back here recently. Um, so I'm going to do I'm gonna hook it up to uh, our the charger that came with the car. So it's a 120 volt, pretty slow one. Uh, at the, if, if any of you have these vehicles, they have 220 volt charging, uh, uh, ratings. So you can choose the eight amp or the 12 amp. I just normally do the eight amp if I'm going to do the, the solar system that, um, the eight amps that charges with plus the, all the auxiliaries that are run when it's charging, it pulls about, uh, 1200 to 1300 Watts. Uh, if I remember right, uh, the, the 12 amp one, it, it, Pulls closer to uh, 2,000 watts, I believe, somewhere in there. Um, and uh, so, so, but but normally um, we have uh, just a charge off the grid here. You can see that you know, the sun. It's just a Clipper Creek um, charger I got off of eBay from uh, somebody that had to give their car back or something like that, and. Um, it's a 20 amp rated charger, and it's it's plenty for these. Uh, so it's 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 plenty for these Chevy Volts because it it's rated to put out about uh, over 4,000 watts, and and this uh, Volt only pulls like 3,300. I've got a little uh, meter here that uh, shows how much it pulls. So we bought this car about two and a half years ago, and we put about 2.4 megawatt hours uh, of electricity into it so far so uh that's how we charge it normally but uh when i have an opportunity um i charge it off of uh solar and so instead of using this wall charger we just plug it into this guy or sorry plug it into this outlet right here and uh so we'll get that plugged in here and in, in a minute and uh show you our system charging up uh, our bolt here, which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool to have uh, the ability to have the energy to drive around your own uh, car uh, if you want to. Although, <laughs> if we charge this whole thing up from full, uh, it would uh, pretty much take up all of our battery capacity, so I'm not going to run it forever uh, for very long, but just to show you what it, what it, what it looks like and how it does so stay tuned here and I'll get it hooked up all right folks uh, before I got the car hooked up I wanted to uh, actually come back down here and show you uh, we've got the system powering the uh, garage uh, doors and some of the garage outlets so uh, this is the generator transfer switch box that is sends power to the garage so if I I'm gonna lift this up here. Um, well, you can't see it, but this switch right here is one that powers the garage. This, this E switch, and it's flipped up into the uh, generator position, so it's uh, uh, grabbing power from the inverter charger here. And uh, our inverter charger is in inverting mode with the solid green light. So that's uh we got going on there so just to confirm that it is powering the uh, garage circuits right now 
and uh, now we'll go upstairs and hook up the car. Sorry, and uh, yeah, so uh, for those that haven't uh, watched a lot of the channels on, or watched a lot of the videos on my channel, um, it'll be chart the car will be charging from uh, these two batteries, which I just made this or this this year in the spring. Um, this one, this black box down here is a battery, and then these two banks of Battleborn ba uh, batteries, all lithium iron phosphate chemistry uh, and uh, 24 volt nominal, but uh, uh, really for lithium iron phosphate, it's a 25.6 nominal is the mid range for that. But um, and it's all uh, going through this inverter charger. Um, Solar charge controllers are charging the batteries with solar power right now. It's about midday. We're pulling it about um, about uh, let's see, it didn't light up very well. 1,300 watts or so. Hopefully you can see that. So um, that's about what the car will pull on, on 120 volt power on the 8 amp setting. And um, now we'll go upstairs and hook it up and we'll probably start pulling a little bit of power from the batteries with efficiency losses uh, so the sun probably won't be able to quite keep up but we'll be charging the car off the batteries uh, whatever the sun pulls in uh, and puts in these batteries is what, what the car will be charging off of it won't be charged off the grid so uh, we'll go upstairs alright I've got the 120 volt charger that came with, the, with our Chevy Volt plugged in Got a green light, it's ready to go, uh, but it's not charging yet because the core is not plugged in yet. So, go over here and uh, plug it in. Got a yellow light or orange light. I'll go green here in a second. All right. Now it is charging off of 120 volt power, off of our solar battery backup system. So, um, let's see. We had 12 miles of range remaining. Um, let's see if I can turn this on here. Here's some. Maybe we'll have some pumps turning on here. Let's see here, we used uh, uh, 6.9 kilowatt hours on my drive today. I won't charge that all the way up to full with the solar here, but uh, just want to show you where it was at. Uh, so. So if, if, uh, if you don't know these cars, what the battery capacity is of this vintage of Volt, this is the first generation Volt. Uh, the, the usable battery capacity is um, about 10 and a half kilowatt hours. So we got about three and a half left to use. So that, that equated to that 12 miles you saw left there on the, on the range estimate. So but that, you know, depending on driving style, that could be anything. Uh, but I want to show you the actual battery capacity left in the battery. Uh, in these batteries, I think this this year of this vintage, they got the battery capacity up to somewhere around, um, I want to say 17 kilowatt hours. The very first volts was uh, around 16, and they, they changed the chemistry slightly at some point around 2013 and upped it to, uh, I don't know, like 16.8 or 9, maybe 17, something like that. So. But I think they, they may have kept the usable capacity around. Well, no, they, they upped the usable capacity also. Um, so the usable, usable capacity is around 10.5 kilowatt hours. So you can see uh, General, Mo General Motors was very uh, concerned with the life expectancy of these batteries and actually found out that uh, they, could, they could increase the usable capacity quite a bit more. So on the next generation of volts, uh, if you're not familiar with those very much, the usable capacity on those batteries. Um, I think the capacity, the total battery capacity was like maybe, I think it's eight, just over 18 kilowatt hours, I want to say. But the usable capacity is around 13 or 14, so that's why those 
those bolts can go, um, uh, you know, more than 50 miles uh, with ease sometimes. Um, so that, that makes those, uh, those next generation bolts are uh, kind of tempting, but uh, you know, this is what we got. And um, sorry, the trash truck going by. But anyway, um, so now we'll go inside and um, show you the, uh, uh, our system charging it. Okay, so uh, we were pulling about 300 watts there before I turned the bolt on. And um, sorry, the, my focus on this phone is not cooperating. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's terrible. Okay, there we go. So uh, now we're about 1300. So I guess it's pulling about a thousand watts at the 8 amp uh, setting. But it's probably not running into a lot of accessories in the car right now because it's pretty mild or relatively mild outside. It's not ha not having to run the heating elements to keep the battery warm or uh, fans to cool the battery yet, at least. So. Anyway, uh, it's pulling a thousand watts approximately from uh, from our batteries. Um, and actually, that the inverter charger is putting us to the our house to charge the car. Actually, from the batteries, we're pulling. Uh, let's see here, not too far. I guess it's not going to tell us. So we're well, we can we can get it from this. So we're pulling about three hundred watts from the batteries in our solar. Putting out about 1300, so we're pulling about 1600 watts total from the system. Um, so, yeah, we're pulling about 1300 watts from the batteries to charge the volt that's only pulling a thousand watts. So, that kind of gives you an idea of the uh, efficiency uh, losses there um, to uh, run the system. So, um, the inverter does have. Uh, Depending on the load of the inverter charger, it does have a, I think the highest I've seen it run right, right now is uh, in the mid 80% range in uh, efficiency. I think the 90 94% efficiency range for this inverter charger is probably toward the upper end of its uh, capacity, you know, closer to 4,000 watts. But anyway, so yeah, we're charging the volt on uh, battery slash solar power and just wanted to show you that, that uh, we can do that, it's pretty fun, um, and uh, hope that uh, um, helps in uh, understanding, you know, um, what you need to charge one of these cars, you know, you don't need a huge, huge battery bank, but, you know, it, it helps to have um, uh, someone a large battery bank um, to do that, and, um, uh, yeah, so hope that uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, have any questions? Let me know uh, in the comments uh, or any suggestions, um, and uh, we'll continue to uh, give you updates on our system and uh, what we see that it can do. So, grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.